How do we get back here? That hurts. What? You, you hit me! My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Now come on. Hit me back. Huh. Why? Isn't it obvious? It, it makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So just for now, if you hit me, we're square, right? There needs to be a hug coming up. So? Hit me! Fine. <laughs> that was pretty strong. Jeez! You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. We're the same. There we go. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. See, I really like it because it actually did grow over the course of the game. It actually feels, you know, realistic that these two would become friends. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah, I have. I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Oh yeah, definitely. This game does more right than the Zero games. It has those moments, though, that just make me get a headache. Her voice does sound like it changed. I think that was intentional. Making her sound more grown up, more mature than the squeakier voice she had at the beginning. I think they made the, you know, conscious change to make her sound more adult. Looks like it's targeting us. Okay. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What should we do? Well, I kind of figured we were going to have to beat up the Big Bang of Monokuma. Fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. 
Coco? Will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. And I can't really say I will miss Big Bang Monokuma. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I, the power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Huh? What's that? Huh, the eye is colored. Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not sad? I have no paralyzed shot. This fight? Not good enough for you? <laughs> um... How about we try to top that? You're right. Is this old lady just out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. They're tracking you! No use running! You have to repel them! It's all red! I have no idea how to fight most of these. That's burn. Way too close. Oh, my God. 
Stop with the quick time events! I think we beat it. Kamaru and I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. I found it. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too! Lives on. Blasting off again! Oh wait, it's back. Shirokuma? Really? You gotta be kidding! What the hell did you do? You're kidding me. No, Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. Don't care it attacked us. That's... And now it's over. It's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. War. War never changes. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? I think we're good, thanks. It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Maegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. point I suppose I have to compromise I don't think you're in a position to demand anything really with no more hostage future foundation will come and the remnants of despair will follow 
Maybe it's not going exactly to plan. But maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. With much less zombies, yeah. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Though I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Bix's Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Don't mess with me. So we're we're just going to um leave her under rubble. That that that's what's gonna happen here. An ending without hope or despair. Monica will definitely Huh? Oh good, we get to leave her trapped under more rubble. Here you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye-bye forever. Take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just gonna walk away. I don't want it to end like this either. Fix this Junko would hate me if I let it end like this. Hope. Despair. I don't care anymore. This is what despair feels like. <laughs> I think most people in this game are mentally broken. good. <laughs> Seems like that would have hurt what a little. It? Whatever it is, there's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? <laughs> 
And a rank. Yay. I I finally realize you actually make me angry and happy each time. You have more influence over me than anyone. Let's be together for the rest of our lives. Grow old together. Die together. For now, we depart. Take off towards our future. I don't think there is S rank. I couldn't do much better than that for what they were showing for the score. No retries, found all the kids, and got the 4 out of 4 ranking for the puzzles and such. I don't think I can do better, and that was just an A. And we obtained a new skill. Is the game not over, or did they do new game plus? So, Epilogue. Before we continue on with the epilogue, So the reason I've just Before we watch all that It's a lot of events. And we can now read the novel Ultra Despair Hagakure. And bonus mode. Let's break the controller right at the beginning. Crushy, huh? crushy. What I saw after that was fireworks. Fireworks heralding me as a savior. <laughs> yeah, a savior. The savior of Toa City. It's all thanks to me. I became hope. The hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks, blessing me. Fireworks of all the Monokuma kids exploding. It's all thanks to me. Everything is all my fault. Okay.
despair end. Yes. We killed I everyone. Don't think Good job, us. Now we just gotta get back so we can actually watch the epilogue. It all started when I was still attending the... But you better not... W wait, no! That's the idea, isn't it? That was a lot of cutscenes to skip. Just to get to that hidden, secret, final, super, ultra boss battle. That, um, that actually did come within a hair's breadth of killing me. I didn't Come keep on. count. I did not keep count to how many times we had to skip there. But anyway. So what's our reward for not becoming the next Junko Inoshima? You're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So... 
I need you to continue working hard so that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross. emotions or perhaps you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this well not that it matters anyway i leave the rest to you though i'm sure the next time i see you you'll be someone else entirely i hope you can at least have a little fun i hope the future is going to be one you can't predict That is the Junko AI, yes. Junko Inoshima's AI that she programmed as a contingency for Izuru. I was waiting to hear from you. For Izuru to take and try to uh, corrupt Makoto's little uh, reclamation project. So that's what you were seeing there was him ripping the, uh, yeah. You need to know that. But anyway. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. 
the captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? Well, he has been trapped inside a storage room for who knows how long now. But that wasn't your fault. That'd make me a you little sad, too. You can't feel bad too. about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then... Why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. What would happen if I leave this town with you and Byakuya? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the Remnants of Hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of Master? Until now, I kept relying on you, and I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared, and I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. No. I think I got it from you. <laughs> Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. Brooding usually comes with a more determined look to the eyes. 
For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad! Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? It's not what you said. I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Toko... Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made, no complaining. But you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. And this might actually be the first real friend Toko has ever had. So she really doesn't want to give that up. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. You're more correct than you know. Yes, that's correct. Huh? It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. You went out. Apparently. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away, just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope, like you. So, I'm going to wait. No, he cannot be a little nice. Not even in the slightest. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair. And come home safe. Uh, but you don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad? I didn't find anything. I went to the torture room later. But it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere. Right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. It does. It happens between DR1 and DR2. What he's saying he doesn't know about yet is how much they risked their lives to come rescue him right there. I think that's what uh, the miscommunication is. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well... She surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. 
We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in, so I can end it properly, with my own two hands. Boy, you're gonna regret that. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah. And that has been Denkin Rampa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls. And now we know exactly what happened between VR1 and VR2. Yep. I did mention that earlier that the Danganronpa V3 demo had come out. One person mentioned they had watched it. V3 is the next game, so it is going to be very canon. VR3 is in the anime. It is debatable whether it's canon or not. I believe it actually is canon, though. Sadly enough. See, I already played the demo last night. Well, this morning. Like, early this morning. Like, 5 a.m. till they like, finished it. If you guys... If uh, people haven't seen it tomorrow... I've got the entire stream of the second game up on my channel if you just want to watch it. Monokuma won't kill me. Yeah, 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 dumb voices. And that is that. 
So a six hour stream tonight. All right then. Plus. Why is he named Gundam? Because. Person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your Jimmy legs and snoring, I can't get a good night's sleep. I am so not snoring. But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? Overlord of Ice, yes. It is one of Gundam Tanaka's many talents. We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? Don't let Yasuhiro hear you say that. Ever. <laughs> well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye... These people are going to start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. Hey! I told you to wait! Aw, oh, come on, Toki! Toki Toki panic. Okay, so what is his Japanese voice? That's a very good question. So before I end this stream... Yep, you get the uh, Hagakure extra novel. Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. But, are you sure you're sure? 
If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. So yeah, that is his English voice. And it is freaking amazing, really. Yeah. So yeah, both voice actors for uh, Gundam actually do really, really good work. And it sounded kind of generic deep voice there in Japanese just because that was just kind of generic chatter at the opening. That's basically his, you know, not even introduction. That's just kind of stuff he says to you as you're walking around the island. But, you know. Anyway. Yeah. That was Danganronpa, another episode of Ultra Despair Girls. And it is now 2.08 a.m. Not time for me to go to sleep, mind you. But... Yep, not time for me to go to sleep, but tomorrow, well, I guess later today, technically, much later today, but you know what I mean, we will um, return back to Sound of Drop, see if we can finish that out, and if we can finish Sound of Drop out, and there's still time... I think I might break open the demo for those people who have not seen it and want to. Maybe. We will see. Because we have like another, we have about a month before the actual game is released on Steam. Anyway. But next week, I don't know what I'm going to play yet. I have a week to figure it out. I think I know. I'm just not quite sure yet. Anyway. Thank you all so very much for joining me. Thank you so, so much for hanging around, chatting with me, and making my game time more interesting by coming up with your own theories on things. As you do. I will see you all back Hopefully tomorrow, and hopefully next week, as I come up with something new. Anyway, take care, folks. I will see you later for more. <laughs>